Hey guys, Genlox here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. Yeah! <laughs> so last time we took the Penguin... Peng... Peng... Wing? Pengling? Spy Penguin. Took that out for a stroll. Uh, found the spiral thingamabob in the tree area with the giant tree garden jellyfish that's pretty awesome uh now my thought the last thought that i had was that, that i was going to explore the deep twisty bridges we still might uh and the 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 point of that was well twofold one that we had not yet explored it two waiting for this to grow and that's a 23 percent 24% after about, what, 20, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. So probably 3% per per minute, give or take. Anyway, um, oh, these are still growing. That makes sense. So while we wait for that to grow, could explore the deep twisty bridges, I think first, first, and most importantly, Most importantly, I think I need to figure out what exactly I need to use the synthetic fibers for. Also, it requires a lot of ruby. Aerogel and synthetic fibers both require a fair amount of ruby. Now, what is it that I need? I could use ion cubes. I have no way of producing those at the moment, so, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, synthetic fiber for the still suit. Then again, I have no idea how to get the snow stalker fur. So maybe, I mean, I doubt Maida will let me shave her pet. Not shave anything on, on her. That would be weird. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's strange that a headlamp requires an ion battery, but, you know, there you go. Uh, so, for the still suit... That was just one, right? Yeah, one synthetic fiber. I feel like there's more, though. I feel like maybe the... Okay, first, prawn suit depth module requires it. Um, this, this requires it. Okay. Right, so apparently finding the nickel ore might, might be a fluke because generally speaking, what happens is to get the Mark III, you need the Mark II and then need supply, the, the stuff that you need to make like plasteel ingot, that's uh, titanium and, and lithium. That's fairly easy. Nickel ore and kyanite should be found above. Like if, if this, the Mark II, if the Mark II gets us to 500 meters, it'll be found probably between 400 and 500 meters, give or take. And then this will probably get us to nine, right? So... Um, I think finding that nickel ore was a fluke, but I was, you know, swimming around, so probably at the right depth. Who knows? Regardless, we need this. So let us go. I think we're going to go back to the tree garden. We're going to get, well, how many synthetic fibers do we need? Just one, right? So one spiral plant clipping. I don't really want to wait. We could wait, but I don't really want to. And I don't think that's the only thing that requires it. I mean, it's not, it's, it's technically not, but what else does require it? See, this would be, we're talking quality of life. If we're talking quality of life, it would be nice to be able to search by component. 
right? So like, like, okay, let's say I, you know, should I wait or should I go get more of those spiral plank clippings? Well, well, what, what needs synthetic fibers? So like a little search or, you know, something like that. I'm not saying it's necessary because it so far it appears, it really appears that only maybe three things require more things seem to require fiber mesh young cotton anemone um right okay so the the first prawn suit depth module So one, uh, two, and then the still suit. So that's basically three. So you only really need three, right? So far, so far, all you need is three synthetic fibers, three spiral plant clippings. Uh, should should I go get those? I I don't know. I mean, at this point. Well, let's check. Let's see how far, how far along we are, right? That's, that looks, well, 50%. Okay, so it grew 25% in the last four minutes. Four minutes? I don't know. Let's get, let's take you. Ooh, change in music. Dramatic. All right, fair enough. Let's let's go. Let's roll. Autobots, roll out. Uh, yeah. Mr. C truck or Ms. C truck. You need a name. You need a good name. You're probably not gonna get one though. Uh, let's go to. Uh, okay, I, I guess. I'm tempted to call you Finder after the nameless bard who didn't have a name. I'm sorry, wait, is that, is the hoop fish alive? No, it's not moving. By the way, if you read, um, uh, I don't know what the trilogy is called. There's three books by, I think it's, I think, I think it's Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. The, no, I, I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe one of them, but um, set in the D&D &D universe. Uh, there's a, a series of books. The first one is Azure Bonds. Uh, it's about Alias of Westgate. Great books, by the way. Um, oh my gosh, I ran over another fish. I'm not gonna pick you up. I'm sorry, Mr. Fish or Ms. Fish. It, it fish. We should get some of those just to plant, but eh, I wanna plant useful stuff, not just for looks. Um. Yeah, great series of books. The Nameless Bard, Finder. I mean, he has a name. Finder is a dumb name. Finder is a dumb name. Where am I going? Am I going this way? Yes. Hey, what's up, buddy? You want to get zapped? There you go. I'm happy to accommodate. I just figured I'd zap him just preemptively. Just reasons, you know. Right, this is the Kappa mining site. Any other stuff hanging out here? No, nothing super useful. Run over another fish. Run over fish all the time. We 
we did not try and go we did not try and to go we did not try to go to the body cache from this angle did we well i mean it doesn't really matter we can't go that deep in this thing yet anyway you know soon let's go find this tree garden and we'll get three more spiral things we'll we'll a couple different plants that way we're not you know cutting from the same plant every time hey jack i'm gonna grab your face can i do that oh my gosh your face is so nice to grab They, they do have a little food. <sighs> I will confess. Right. Oops, sorry. Did you see that, Jack? I, oh, sorry. Don't squirm. I love, do not squirm. I, see, this is why I, oh, you. But see, it doesn't stop him from getting up here, does it? He's like, no, I don't want to be held. But uh, okay, you can maul me a little bit. <laughs> Because he knows, he knows when he comes up here, I'm probably going to grab him. Put him in a headlock or something. I don't know. Imagine a really cool wrestling move that I don't actually know. Hang on, this might be really loud. Hang on. Hopefully not. I'm adjusting the, the arm, the boom mic, because I whacked it. And it kind of, the microphone like went, went down. Right, Jack, you're so cute. I'm going to pick you up again. Oh, you love this. You love this. Oh, baby. Oh, wait, stop squirming. You are my belly. That doesn't even make sense, but I love you anyway. Can I grab your face now a little bit? Okay. Listen. You're in the way. He's swishing his tail around. He has food. He has food a little bit. Not like a lot, but a little. There's food in the bowl. And it's fresh food. I gave it to them when I got home. Like, like five hours ago. Which is, that automatically makes it old because they're spoiled. I, I understand this. Alright. My god, my cats are spoiled. <laughs> also, yes, I'm fairly intoxicated. I'm actually fairly surprised with the the potency because it's the the oh you probably hear him headbutting the the microphone um the potency of the um warning maximum depth reached hull damage imminent. wait all right well I thought I was able to get lower. Is that a, a different one over there? Is that the one that I went to first? Uh, no. There's caves. There's caves or something. I must be in a different place. I must be. We're going to try and go to that, but we don't. 69. Maybe not. Maybe we're about... No, we were deeper. You're right, Jack, baby. Could you move your tail? Thank you. No, I didn't mean, you know. All right. We'll get out. We'll, we'll repair. And then, uh... See, look at this. This is awesome. Uh, it goes deep. Deep-ish. I don't know if it's on or off. It's hard to say. I don't want to hear... Oh, it's on. Okay, yeah, off is fine. I don't want to hear... any... It's like I'm... It's like I'm being born. Or I'm going into its butt. Alright, three. Here we go. One. Two. Three, there we go, that's enough. That's enough, Jack. That's enough, you weirdo. Where is my truck?
No, but the potency of the sake was... It's, uh, it's good. Weird, though, because it was only, like, 12% alcohol, but then again, I'm, uh... Oh, baby, Jack. Oh, baby. Oh, you. My tolerance at the moment is, is low. Um, all right. Should we, or should we not, just maybe dive for that? Because that's... Let's give it a go. I don't know if I'm... There's the light. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll use the light because we might need to see. 200 meters. Um, This... Oh, rubies. Diamonds, urine, and night. Uh, just don't... Just don't kill me, please. That's that's all I ask. Okay, I see it. I see it. Wait, what is that? What was that? Disco fish? Discuss fish. Let's discuss this fish. New creature discovered. Another site found. But I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. I'm I'm kind the of network is indicating more of my people's technology, but the images I'm receiving are fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images? Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal formations. Okay. Well, let's try and get out of here while we still can. Let's grab another disco fish. Disgust fish. It... I don't know. It's like they're just, you know, they're in very specific areas. It's like, oh, here's this, this one, this one's here, this one's there. I don't, I mean, I assume this is also a individual map. Right? Like, I, I don't think this is a randomized map. I think it's a... It's the same map every time. Which, I mean, if you're gonna have... The goal, right, was collectibles, originally. And if that's what... If that's what these alien artifacts are... You know, where you get... Oh, you know, get the body cachet, get the tissue cachet, get the whatever cachet location at X percentage of collectibles. <sighs> then, then I don't, I don't know if I like that. Our searches have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like... What if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still in version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the, the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Ellen. Adding hope to your database. 
I had to roll my eyes. I mean, seriously, it's like, okay, I... It's... I don't know what year this is, okay? 2500, something like that. <sighs> it's possible that... I mean, Shakespeare is still taught, right? Okay, so fair enough, that's... I don't actually know when Shakespeare was written. Let's say 1400s, okay? Christopher Columbus. It's probably like 1600, somewhere around there, but but fair enough. Um, that's, okay, so that's 300 years, give or take. I mean, but aside from, aside from that, it's probably Emily Dickinson. For that poem um because that's the only emily that i know of most people are excruciatingly unaware of the past and that includes myself i'm not with the media the way that it is today most people it like it's basically propaganda most people don't even know what actually happens today what's actually going on today so it's it's just I don't know. That's that's why I kind of laugh at like Star Trek and stuff. And they're like, "Oh, blah blah blah." And it's like they they wouldn't really know. You know, you look at kids, kids today. They don't even know like there's a whole there's the React, the React channel, the Fine Bros. They had an episode about here's the Nintendo, here's the original Nintendo. People are like, "Whoa, wow. They actually played this?" They use this? That's what this is? A rotary telephone. They're like, they use this thing? It's like, yeah, dude. And that's only 20 years old. You know? I mean... A anyway. The other thing is, is this alien is so advanced, right? That for them, there is no difference. They are able to perceive themselves as data... And you need a, a black woman to educate them. Like, that's that's kind of where the progressivism kind of comes in and poisons everything, right? Because the, the real answer, the what's really, it, it should be, if you were going to really do it, right, it would be that Robin has this, you know, advanced intelligence in, in her. And as a result, she's able to learn from it before. It's like E.T., Right? It's like E.T. You learn from the alien before the alien goes off and returns home or something. But instead, Robin's the one that's like, oh no, it's, it's about hope and this and this and that. It's like, it, 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 fits with the, it fits with the narrative. They cannot, these progressive ideologies cannot result in a good story because they they are unable they're they're so offended and so sensitive that they cannot have the the typical hero's journey is that the hero gets beaten and learns from it and becomes stronger as a result of failure right they failure is the teacher not success they're so you know pro whatever color of skin pro whatever this pro whatever gender that they they cannot have a protagonist that's essentially not a mary sue because they don't want the protagonist to fail because they don't want to you know oh oh you know such and such has been oppressed and, and all that stuff so we can't have them fail it's like and that's what makes the stories awful. And so that's why I'm rolling my eyes at this. Because it's just like, Robin should not be the one teaching. Robin should be the one being taught. She should be learning from this. Like, humans compared to these aliens, humans are like newborns. You know, the aliens are so far advanced. You know, and that's kind of the other thing with the 
with the kara, which is that, you know, oh, the humans are going to figure it out and blah, 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 but these aliens couldn't. And it's like, the aliens, you know, look at the outbreak that we're experiencing, the pandemic. It's like, allegedly, a bioweapon escaped from a lab, right? Allegedly. Don't ban me, YouTube. Jesus. Uh, but... You know, it, all it takes is one person to screw up, and humans screw up all the time. You know, it's almost a miracle that stuff hasn't happened more. But, you know, anyway. Oh, but now, you know, the humans are able to mutate the Kara, and they have a, a cure, and they have an antidote, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, but they were able to do this, but the... But the aliens, super advanced civilization, were not, like... Come on. Anyway, I guess we're... I guess we're going back. Right, the discus fish. A colorful small fish with a laterally compressed body, the discus generally survives off of algae or other plant materials. Research hope. Yeah, okay. Uh, they also serve as nutritious prey for many other larger or quicker members of the ecosystem. Despite their colorful appearance and lack of real defense mechanisms, they survive mostly by virtue of their relative agility and a tendency to favor narrow crevices and other claustrophobic environments. Other. As fauna? Uh... Okay. Hope is an animal of unknown origin. According to Robin and a poet named Emily Dickinson, it is described as having feathers. My database found the poem Robin was referring to. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity, it asked a crumb of me. Also, uh, my older sister was a rabid feminist for a while, and Emily Dickinson was one of her favorite poets. It's, it's like, oh, Emily Dickinson, feminist icon or whatever. Yeah. It, it, it's like, oh, you like Emily Dickinson? You're a feminist then? It's because it's... It's an ideology. It's it's basically a religion for them. They don't think for themselves. It's all you know, is it is it strange that they're all you know, fans of the exact same person, the exact same poet, the exact same stuff? It's like goths, you know, trying to trying to be, you know, unique and and oh, whatever, nonconformist, but they all dress the same. They all act the same, whatever. Oh, Manny, you're so cute. Whatever, you know. It's not that her poetry is bad, it's just that... Come on. The presence of hope seems to inspire humans to persevere in the face of adversity. Perhaps humans keep, keep, uh, keep a hope with them at all times. From this notation, hope appears to be a hardy avian creature. That's why it's fauna, I guess. It is capable of surviving at sea and in cold climates. Having kept so many warm, hope might be observed to produce exothermic chemical reactions. Assessment, find, and maintain hope. What's, so what's stupid is the alien is inside Robin, not in her PDA. I mean, I guess you could make the comment that it adds to the PDA, but that's kind of dumb. Oh, there's no, uh, that's not a priority anymore. Now we have to do the body cachet and, well, whatever. All right, back to base. Let's drink one of these, boom. Do we want to check this out first? These little caves, have we, we haven't checked these. Is this that other thing that we need? We can't scan this. Can we knife it? No. Strange. Uh, Ruby, I'll take that. Let's 
tornado. Yeah. I... Wait, wait. Is that a different thing? No, that's the same one. It seems like the... The weird ambient noise... Oh, that's probably... Wait. That's probably the one that I was... That I found. Yeah, probably so. Oh, wait, what are you doing here? Are we close to the lily areas? Should we try and get to the body cache from here? Oh, I know you. We just gotta watch out for the crush depth. Is it gonna... Oh, well, thanks, buddy. I, I hit you, though. It didn't seem like it phased it much. It doesn't like it, but it... Let's... Well... Approaching crush depth. I think it brought me below. And... yep. Wait. 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 What is this? How of an astronautical Sontrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. This is the bow. Okay. Well. So are we going to find more of those things here? Can we go in it? Maybe I should leave a beacon and come back later. Yeah, because that's true. We only did find the back half. Back part. Well, all right, it looks like it's above maybe even all of it is above the crush depth of the of my vehicle at the moment. I don't see any openings though. Uh, I hit it. Okay. Let's, uh... Huh. Fragments. I don't know. I was trying to scan for fragments just to see if... You know. Mercury! Mercury 2. Like, maybe there's a... What is that? That looks like something. It's a prawn suit fragment. Or, I mean, I guess technically... Oh, hello! It is a prawn suit. Alright, but I can't scan it. Well, hello, we have stuff in here. Oxygen, a drill arm, which I think we've got. And we can go down there. Yep, music changed.
Oh, yeah, you're yeah, you're correct actually. Um I mean I guess we could. I was thinking like maybe leave a beacon in here. I guess, I guess we'll leave a beacon, why not? It's our last beacon at the moment. Oh, this is hand base alpha. Mercury to bow. I misspelled that. Mercury to bow. And blue. We don't necessarily need all right. Well, uh, I don't mind. We'll we'll scan the fragments. And open these, I suppose. Chinese potato, huh? Oh, really? Okay. Actual Chinese potatoes. Neat. I mean, that works for me. It's it's different. It's something different, right? Prawn suits. What's down here? Death. Death is what's down here. Can I go this way? Is that a window? What is that? I don't actually know. Cut open to access. Well, if you insist. A reactor rod. Another reactor rod. All right. Why am I hallucinating a Reaper Leviathan? Power cell. A Reaper Leviathan, like, noise. More potatoes, huh? Oh, inventory is full. Yep. Well, alright, let's go. What is this? I don't know, but it's strange. It's part of... whatever area that is. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's strange that... I don't think she said... I don't think our little... Our little lady said anything specifically about this area, or about the other areas when we first found part of the um, the other part of the Mercury. But maybe, maybe she did. Yeah, and, and he's like talking about hope. It's uh, whatever. And that's the other thing, right? It, it, there was, like, it was almost comedic originally. It, the PDA, I mean. It, it's not. It's not now. It's just very... Like, it's not even funny. Alright, well, let's head back. Dump off this stuff. What is that? Quartz? Looks like quartz. Alright. Well, let's try not to run into things. Sharks. Squid sharks. It's like crab squid, crab snake in the first one, and then here it's squid shark.
Maybe that's the only thing. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, fish. I do not mean to murder you. Wait, is this just the back half? Wow, that's actually... That actually makes a lot of sense. It's like, here's the front half. Then you kind of follow the line. And it's like, there, there's the... Did I say, wait. Here's the back half. Then you follow it. And there's the front half. That makes sense. It actually makes sense. We have 40 minutes. We're at the 40 minute-ish mark. Um... Okay, well. Yep. Let's not run into a rock, so we'll have to go around. Yeah, I'm still kind of buzzed from that socket. Not bad. Oh, there's Jack. He's licking his, licking his feet. Try not to run into the... Yep. What's up, dude? Look at all the peepers I'm gonna run into. I mean... <laughs> I don't want to, but... It's kind of cool that it turns off the lights, too. Charge is pretty fast, actually. That's good. That is great. All right, so let's make some synthetic fibers. I don't remember what we... Ruby... How many rubies do I have? I have three. Perfect. Let's do it. Made myself an IPA, or poured myself an IPA. Maybe not a smart move. But, uh... Well, whatever. Arrow ray and hoop fish. Tastes like hot plastic, decent water content. F that's fair. Salt makes it better. Oh yeah, arrow ray, hoop fish. Um. We'll drink water, that's fine. Alright, so now that I have the synthetic fibers, we could we could just go ahead and make the still suit, aerogel and copper wire. Cause who knows how long it's gonna be before we get the cold suit. So let's Aerogel Copper Wire. Boom. And, oh yeah, all the reactors. We have a, maybe we should make the nuclear power thing. Uh, copper wire. Personal equipment. Reclaims moisture from the body and provides clean, drinkable water. I, I really can't see myself, but I look different. I look a little bit different. That's cool. We should put out a pangling, or the spy, the penguin. No gloves, which is weird, but I mean, because I'm, I'm clearly wearing gloves. They're different, but you know, it's it's fine. Alright, what next? Uh 
Yeah, that we don't we don't need. We've got that. Depth upgrade. Ruby enamel glass. Do we have enamel glass? I don't think so, but we'll check. No. What do we need for enameled glass? Uh, let's see. Lead and diamond. Do I have... Do I have lead? Yes. Put the reactor out over there, I guess. Maybe we should just build the nuclear reactor. We don't really have that much as far as power goes, though. Oh. Uh, what did we want to make? We need, like, two rubies. And then the depth module, right? One fifty. Enable glass, that's right. It would help if I got the glass. Bam. You know what? Let's be a little a little fancy, right? Oh. Take that back. We'll make another titanium ingot here in a second. First, glass. Second, enamel glass. Third, depth upgrade. There we go. Mark two. Okay. And then I th think the prawn upgrade mark one is, yeah, enamel glass and three ruby. That's fine. We have the synthetic fibers. That's really all we need at the moment. I feel like this whole area is just kind of like my junk area. Oh well. All right, grab one more titanium. Throw the lithium over there. While we're here, let's add this to this and just see, we'll just see what happens. Uh, 650, that is way better. Went from 300 to 650. Appreciate it. Ingot. I'm sorry, Manny. I didn't mean to wake you up. I was petting. He was asleep, and he kind of like jerked when I when I pet him. All right. So we have the ingot. Let us all right. And that. Looks basically good. We are gonna have to make the prawn. We're gonna have to make the prawn at some point. Um. Right, well now we can go fairly deep. Do I wanna check out the mercury again? The answer is kind of. We can go pretty deep now. Do we want to check out the deep twisty bridges? Let me make another beacon. 
I want to make another beacon just in case. In case we find something cool. You never know. You should at least have one beacon. Alright. I haven't even found magnetite yet. What the F? Should I make this glass? Let's make that glass. I wonder if they fixed this. It doesn't appear like it. It used to be that the scanner room, um, you couldn't turn this panel. It's like the other, like this is, uh, it's a modified scanner room, right? Which has two entrances. It used to be that you couldn't add a window to this from the inside because it wouldn't, like this, this gray thing was in front of the window. So you couldn't tell that you were adding one. But you could add one. It just, you had to do it. I mean, I suppose you didn't have to do it. You just do it, but. See, just like that. Bam, there you go. Now you can see a little bit better. And what was the mooing coming from? Like the mooing, it didn't. Oh yeah, I want to see... Interesting, right? Food plus 10. Straight up plus 10. Normally, eating the raw fish gives you a minus 2 water. So what happens if you cook it? Decent water content. What does that mean, though? 18, 10. That's not bad. Let's see if this is done yet. It looks like it, yeah. So let's, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll at least plant a couple more. Ah. Wow, it doesn't give you very many. Gives you two each. What's up? Oh, thanks, buddy. Can I give you something? Did I drop anything for him? That's eh, fine. It talked about training them. I don't I don't know if we're gonna do that. I mean obviously we're we're not, but you you can, I guess, maybe. Maybe well, that's something they didn't captain. you know implement. If if one was to do that, I suspect you would drop something that you wanted in their nest, maybe. Or, I, I don't know, throw it at him, I guess? I mean, I threw a flare at one. That, it didn't seem to like that. Although I was surprised it freaked out at all because nothing ever does. All right. We can't make a sonar upgrade, right? No. Um. Man, he's making noises. Let's, let's head back to the Mercury. We'll head back there. We'll, we'll end up saving there, but I want to... I want to find the bow, and I want to explore the bow. I'm really curious to see if there's another... Another one of those... Um, another piece of the parallel processing unit in there, because... We found the, the stern, I guess it's the stern. And got two in there, found another random chunk somewhere else. Got that, got the third from there. And I'm like, you know, this really feels like that's the water. 
That's the water from the still suit, right? Reclaimed water. Minus three food, H2O. Uh, and it says purified reclaimed body water. You know, it's funny because in Dune. Oh. In Dune. Uh, which, I mean, it's funny because the still suit is from Dune. And now you have the polar worm. Presumably similar to the sandworms. And the thumper. Hey, that's a cool little circle. Uh, wait, where am I going? Here? Okay. Um, in the book, the Dune book, the still suit was able to reclaim uh, water from, well, sweat, urine, and feces. And blood, actually, but that was like it's one of the things like when your own party member or your party members I guess when they die uh, it's it's a big deal it's like their water belongs to the tribe you know and it's funny it's also funny that they idolize Dune so much right because Dune uh, practices the religion in Dune that the freemen follow is a modified version of Islam and Islam, at least as practiced today, is hostile to women. I just think it's funny. They, you know, they make numerous references to Dune, but... Oh, yeah, squid sharks. But, you know, they're not... And they're progressive, and they're also... I... I, I don't know. It's almost like they don't know what they're doing. But I would never say that, I guess. Cuz I don't I don't know for certain. It just it's it's just really weird. Oh, let's. But then again, I mean, you know, in Dune as well, the uh the women were the women were essentially considered equal to men. Right? In fact, the women were as good of they were fighters on par with the men, but, you know, gender roles re essentially required them to care and raise for the children. They were sort of the... Um, it's almost like offense and defense. Women were the defenders, right? So men were, would go out and, you know, they were the raiding parties. Women would protect the children. They're, you know protect the home, protect the child. And they, uh, yeah, they wiped out like a ton of the emperor's troops at one point towards the end of the first book. I, I really need to read the rest. There's like six. Although to be fair, I don't think Frank Herbert wrote all of them. I think he only wrote the first four, something like that. I don't, I don't know. I just know at some point the Emperor becomes like half sandworm and that's why I was like I need to read the rest of these because that sounds weird like the sandworm opens and inside the mouth is like the upper torso of the Emperor. I... Okay, you know, <laughs> you know, all right, I am intrigued. You have my attention now. Uh... Yeah, it's weird that an underwater thing would uh not necessarily draw inspiration but there'd be references to dune in it which is you know very cool anyway guys that is it for today thank you guys so much for your time and attention really do appreciate it really <sighs> wow uh but i replaced some of the parts on my cpap the mask and the tubing and stuff so now now there's a little happy face on it which means i don't I should be less tired and I, I do feel I do feel less tired so hopefully less yawning while I'm doing this stuff um thank you guys so much for your time and attention I really hope you guys enjoy these um if you don't you probably didn't watch this far so yeah I guess that doesn't matter then 
Uh, but I do hope the people that do watch this far do enjoy it. Or, or to be fair, watch any bit of it. Watch any of it at all. I hope they enjoy it. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's the beer. It's a, it's a hazy IPA. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but it's one I haven't had before, the beer, I mean, so... I'm enjoying it. Uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care.